Guys, so I just finished cleaning my apartment and I was like, wow, I've transformed this place. So what I'm going to do so that you guys can also see that transformation that I am seeing. Is that the fire bell? Hold on. Wait, what? Why is the fire bell ringing off? Hold on, because I, I know you guys heard the fire bell too. You heard the fire bell, right? Guys, so I just went ahead to check it out and it seems as if nothing big is going on because I don't see anyone else running out their rooms or anything. So I guess it's just like a, a test or something or I don't, I don't know. I don't hear anyone screaming or anything. So I think it should be all right. I think these drills are the, the, the bell are very serious because I don't want to be stuck in here and there's a fire in the building, you know, could possibly collapse the building or anything like that. All right, so yeah, it's, I guess it's not no big deal. Anyhow, I want to show you guys the transformation. So what I'm going to do is to play a video when I literally just move into the apartment and there was nothing here. So I'm going to do that. And then when I play that video, I'm just going to like show you guys like the curve, you know, to see the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, let's do that and play the older video. All right, so this is the entrance. And then from here, it's literally just a big space. Exactly. I don't know what I'm going to do, but... I know if I do well, it's going to look good. Um, this is a kitchen. It's pretty nice. I like these especially. And yeah, it's just blank. Nothing right now. This is like extra storage, like a pantry. And then this is a bathroom. I look ugly right now, so I won't even like show my face right now. But anyways, that's the bathroom and the bath and... Yeah, we got this like storage area right here. You could put like two pace and just like small things. Yeah, I need like a shower, nice shower curtain. Might go with like a gray shower curtain just to match back like this area right here. So yeah. There we go guys a well transformed apartment you can hear in the video how i was thinking about you know what i'm gonna do to the place you know how i'm gonna fix it up like you could hear me planning in the video like i always plan things from the start as it relates to how i wanted to get done how i wanted to be looking and finally i have everything set and stoned the only thing that is remaining which i might do throughout the school year because as you guys know school is gonna start in like two weeks and i'm Okay, I'm very excited. Let me just say that the least because, hey, I, I serve a purpose once more. Like without school, I serve no purpose. And then after school, I will have a job. And then with my job, I will then serve a purpose. But right now, I serve no purpose rather than just going to work, being at a server that is not in my field, which I don't really feel like I serve a purpose. I mean, I like being a server, but it's not in my field. So I don't really feel like I serve a purpose right now, but I will serve a purpose as soon as I start back school. So when I start back school right here, as I said, is going to be my wall of fame right here coming right down. Is gonna be the wall of fame where all my achievements I got three certificates so far so I'm gonna put one two and three and then like this big picture up top to you know say the wall of fame and all that so that's gonna be looking good and then of course in the school year I'm hoping to add at least two additional certificates to my achievements so that you know I can fill the wall up probably get all this medal and all that because I, I do have I, I do have a trophy but it's at the school yeah, because we won the business case competition. They gave us a trophy and certificate. But the school kept the trophy, of course, and gave us a certificate. So I still consider that I do have one trophy. But yeah, besides the point, the apartment is fabulous now. The transformation is key. I hope you guys are able to see it as much as I am seeing it right now. You know, like right here was just completely blank. Like there was nothing right here aside from my suitcase and all bags, 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 bags that I, bring, that I brought from over the other apartment. So, you know, Having a nice TV stand and a TV with some nice decorations on the walls. It is absolutely great. And also, guys, do I speak fast? I don't think I speak fast, but it's just that some persons, you know, some persons process information slower than others. So it's like, you know, I process information very fast. And I don't think I speak fast. I speak very clear as well, because I'm sure you can understand what I'm saying right now. Because I saw a comment earlier today saying that, oh, Uranus, you speak too fast. You need to speak slower. I don't speak fast. Like, this is just normal speaking right now. You understand? So back to what i was saying you know i was dying when it was burning up in the heat and guess what i solved that problem with an air condition i haven't yet got my electricity bill which i know is gonna probably give me a heart attack but 
as you know we enjoy the time the air condition is working well my bed feels so good and clean you understand big up to auntie nikki for getting me this nice comforter you know what i'm saying like the comforter is being used properly it's like it just feels good you understand like yeah this was meant for my bed i hope you guys like my decoration and let me know i never i, I don't think i did a video on this as it relates to uh the trees the the, the plants so like i have one right there because what i had is the two plants side by side at the tv so the other plant was on the other end and i changed and i took up one the one from this end and put it in my bedroom right here with some you know decorating christmas lights are on it so let me know what you guys think about the plants like let me know what you guys in down below in the comment think about the plant i personally think it looks good at night i keep it on because the place is like really dark i don't know why it's extra dark here so let's keep this on for like, you know ambient light and yeah the next thing i'm trying to do for the apartment again throughout the school year will probably be to take this thing right from right here because it's it's, it's it's not good anymore unfortunately and that's just because this thing came off like it's absolutely dislocated and it's like the, the screw the screw section of it came completely off so i can't fix it or anything i tried I, I understand i even went to like put tape on it but it's not working so it keeps on you know because it's not working it's too wide now because like every time i try to put in the drawers they just keep on dropping down like this you see what i'm saying they're not staying on because this is not too wide so i might have to get rid of this put find somewhere to put my clothes and also buy a night stand night stand and a lamp to put right beside my bed you know make things a little bit better i might also put like a little canvas over the bed and that should be it i don't need much, nothing much especially that my future is kind of unpredictable right now when it, as it relates to like if i'm gonna be in edmonton or if i'm gonna have to move to edmonton out of edmonton to find a different job i'm not sure so i don't want to like do too much like, i think this is calm like i could easily take out by the picture the photos i could easily take about that i could easily take out like everything right here right i could easily sell this sell that you know i could even even sell my bed but i might i might not sell my bed because beds are expensive and this is a good great bed you understand but like yeah you know like thinking about the fact that okay i might actually have to move from here you know i don't want to have too much things moving with i know the next time when i'm gonna be moving i'm gonna definitely be needing like a moving truck because uber cannot take what i have in here at all you understand like definitely cannot 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 i need a truck but nonetheless that's not what thinking about right now we're thinking about the fact that yes i did it I transform the apartment. Let me know how much you now you rate the apartment out of 10. You know, let me know. Let me know any ideas, suggestions, anything you think I could like move around or like understand something to put on the get my, get list throughout the semester. So let me know. Anyways, guys, as I said, school starts in two weeks. And I'm very much excited. I'm glad to go back to school because now I get to see back a few old friends, right? I get to see back a few old lecturers. You know what I'm saying? Like me and my lecturers, we were real close, you know, and I get to study again. I don't really like studying, but like sometimes I'm here, I got nothing to do. Like I'm not the type of guy to just take a book and read it. No, you would never get me to take a book and read it at all. Even if the book is interesting, I would not just take a book and simply just start reading it. I would never do that. But if I know I have to study to get a good grade, I'm going to put in the effort to take a book and read it. You understand? But otherwise, I will not do that. So yeah, school started back. I'll get to start reading more, you know, get my brain working again. Like I could tell you something that i remember from my semester in one of my classes i could tell you something from all my classes okay let's, let's 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 do a challenge i did five uh classes i'm gonna tell you a topic from each let's see how, how best i remember like this is just on the spot right now i did cost accounting i did uh intermediate accounting i did finance i also did um okay see how am i gonna tell you topics from a class and i don't even remember the classes i did okay that's three classes right let's think complete applications for accounting i need one more what was the other one again Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. So finance, cost accounting, intermediate accounting, and what a class name again? It was AIS. Yes, accounting information system. Now let's start. What do I remember from accounting information systems? Hmm, computer fraud. Like yeah, let's 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 let's, let's go with, let's go with the frauds and all that. You know, like it was a let's give me guys a broad topics and what I remember from them. Like okay, computer fraud. Like it was all about talking about computer fraud. Yeah, that was theoretical and I hate it because it was a pure theory and like lots of reading. So I like, talk about like computer frauds and like uh so much different things like uh why people commit fraud you know etc and all that you know long history etc etc thing i think so that was the least interesting class i had for that semester but the be the most interesting class would have been cost accounting i do remember a lot from cost accounting right uh um okay let's see what we remember abc activity-based costing I mean, see that's what I'm saying. You know, like that was even in the business case competition and like hey I was the team member that I totally ripped that topic up 
in the case competition that I was in my exam. So like that's why I ended the class on A plus. You know what I'm saying? Like so yeah, Kasakoni was really really good. Big up to even my lecturer. I don't even remember her name. Wow, that's very bad, you rain. I haven't been in school in four months. Like, don't don't blame me, man. Don't blame me. But whoever you were, like, I don't remember your face, but I just don't remember your name. Big up to yourself. Anyway, solid class. Um, intermediate accounting, my guy Brian Gamble. Yo, yo, that lecture was a boss. Intermediate accounting was more of the bigger man accounting. Like it's, it's like when you get deep into accounting, like you learn about the rules, principles. It's like you learn about the standards, everything in accounting. Like that one was the, another interesting class because, like, hey, if you want to be an accountant, this is things that you have to know. Like these, like every job has a certain rule that you must follow. Everything you do, right? If you're gonna be a firefighter, there are certain drills that you must follow to carry out your job. If you're gonna be a teacher, there are certain things that you must do the night before. Um, planning, etc., to, to, to teach the students the, day, the, the other day. And just as an accountant, there's things that we need to do to ensure that we are providing accurate financial data, right? So, like, this class was the one that taught us, hey, you know, how to, you know, base our professional judgment, right? Um, if it's a case where two standards might two accounting standards might apply to a similar situation, because remember, in accounting, when you start with one policy, right? When you start with one accounting policy, you have to stick with that same accounting policy, right? Get that same accounting policy throughout. But there might be a case now, one day come, where another accounting policy might suit this situation more better. I remember, you can't just change over. So, like, you know, this course tells you how to use professional judgment to switch from one standard to another, you know, when to apply one standard from another, you know, and when to do like an entire evolution of starting over in a course or different standards. Like, this, you know, this course was like a boss. Finance, hey, my guy, Bill Knight, finance class. Bill Knight was, uh, like, Bill, you're my G, Bill, but Bill. Bill, you marked the exam so hard, man. Like, yeah, I know, I know exactly if you see this video what you were saying, but you know, like I told you straight up, Bill, that you're a hard marker. And you mark us so hard, Bill, that I got a B plus in both your classes. Like, Bill taught me um principles of accounting, and he also taught me finance one. I got B plus in both his classes. Not my fault to me. It's like Bill just Richly marks hard and not only does he marks hard, his exams are very hard. And Bill I got two classes with you this coming semester, so Bill, please make these make make a change, Bill. Make a change, all right? Make a change, Bill. Like Bill, we are G's, Bill. Like Bill, we are cool. Like let me tell you guys now, straight up, guys. Planck Nation, like Bill Knight, that lecture. If his exams wasn't so hard, and if he never marked so hard, Bill, Bill would be one of the one of the best lecturers. Because Bill is cool. Like I can talk to Bill about literally anything. Like Bill is a cool lecturer. Like Bill is funny. Bill is a funny guy. You get what I'm saying? Bill is a funny guy. Bill is also an elder. You know an elder. You know elders are typically usually funnier than younger. You know lecturers. There, the elders are funny. Like let me tell you, Canadian elders are could be comedians. Like Canadian elders could be stand-up comedians. These guys are funny. These guys got lots of riz. I know you guys, you know, probably you guys don't know what the word riz means, but like these guys could take away your grandma from you. I'm telling you that these guys are tricky. Hey, these guys are some tricksters, man. But hey, Bill Knight, show it to you. I'm looking forward to those two classes. Bill Knight is going to teach me two classes, uh, Finance 2 and Intermediate Accounting 2. You know, so let's see how that goes September. Next class I had was uh, Computer Application for Accounting. You know, my guy is Zoheb. Zoheb was my guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, Zoheb straight up funny guy. Cool, cool, cool. Nothing much to say. Like, his class was cool. Sometimes I never went to his classes because, like, some days it was, like, so easy that I was like, I could just do it on my own. Whenever I showed up, you know, so yeah. But shout out to Zoheb. Zoheb is a cool guy. My other class, okay, I think that was it. This guy, so, so excited for the semester to come. And I hope you guys love my video. And I'll see you guys. Probably like tomorrow, because tomorrow is Thursday and I got no work until Saturday. So that's good. I got no work until Saturday. Can you imagine? That's very good. So it's today, Wednesday. Wednesday is basically over. It's so like Thursday, Friday. I got two more days. So yeah, I'm just going to like relax in my clean apartment. Guys, remember to clean your place because infections, bacteria, just it's easy to like, you know, be around everywhere. It's so like, remember to clean your place. Clean your kitchen. You don't you want to have clean plates, clean plots. You know what I'm saying? You want clean pots and everything. So clean your place, guys. Like clean your stove. You don't want no grease on your stove. You understand? Clean your stove, okay? Clean your entry. Wipe the ground. You see my ground? You nothing know, see spotty spot in our any dirt. Be sure to wipe your ground, right? Be sure to enter the garbage pot neatly so that it doesn't smell. You get what I'm saying? Keep the meat, the meat pan separately from, you know, the normal garbage because, you know, you want to separate the meat from regular things. Yeah. Yeah, my grandma teaching them things. They understand? So... 
going to keep in the place clean and again i hope you rate the video and i'll see you guys next time all right big up and all from urine coming from office see ya